new updates to SketchUp 2023.1 in less than 4 minutes. Alright, so the first update is the new icons in SketchUp. As you can see, we have different looking icons for the same functions in SketchUp. They all pretty much work the same. So if you use the Move tool, Tape Measure tool, Push Pull tool, you can see that the icons have changed. They have also gotten a slightly bigger than the previous ones. Next is the new horizon background. So for example, if you set your view like this and if you'd like to change the horizon, you can go to your styles here. Go to edit and then we have a new feature here called horizon. So, so just select the color and then you can go ahead and select any color you like and press OK. So as you can see SketchUp has added a new feature just in case you like to make your drawings or presentations a little more illustrative in nature. Next is the custom flip plane. Which means you can flip objects not only in the green axis or the blue axis but also at an angle so for example if i select this object here i can use it at, as an angle and select there and now you can see that the door has been flipped along that axis as well you can also of course add a copy by tapping control and then select that again you can see that you can flip along an axis now this is not an ideal example but you can see that that's the bonus feature with the flip tool in SketchUp. Next is the new snap feature in SketchUp. So for example, if you'd like to place the solar panel on the roof here, you can simply select the solar panel, tap M, which is the move tool. You have a snap point here, select that, and then simply place it on the roof. If you'd like to know how to create these snap points, check out my full video on how to use the new snap tool feature in SketchUp in the link in the description. Finally, another update that they've added is to the lasso tool in SketchUp. So if you select the lasso tool from here, previously you needed to drag and then create the lasso selection. But now you can simply click multiple times, just like how you have it in Photoshop and create the lasso selection as well. So that's another update in SketchUp. Now let's jump to layout. Now in layout, they've added a few updates as well. As you can see, the icons have changed and they've made it similar to the ones in SketchUp. So you have the same UI. So the coolest update that I found is the new auto text within scrapbook elements. So for example, if I drag one of these elements and place it on the model, you can see that the view changes to the scene view. So right now in SketchUp, the scene view is called top view. So it updates automatically in layout as well. And then simply you can drag it out. Alright, and the last update that i like to share with you guys is the document setup. So if you go to file and click on document setup, you can see that they've created two resolutions. One is the display resolution and one is the output resolution. So if you set this to low, it means that you can work faster in layout. Ideally, you can set the display resolution at low so that you can create sheets and do a lot of stuff much more faster in layout. And then you can set the output resolution as high so that when you export these PDFs, it exports at the highest resolution possible. Also, you can notice that it also outputs as a hybrid, which means that you do not have to change this to vector here, which generally slows down the performance in layout for SketchUp. All right, that's about it. So if you'd like to see more updates, you can check out the blog as well, which you'll find in the link in the description. Please do like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.